can the mind free itself from the know. The known is knowledge. The knowledge which I have accumulated about myself, the knowledge which I have gathered through experience during my lifetime, the knowledge which I have invited, which has become my habit, the very structure of my being, and that is the me, and that is the you. As long as the mind holds on to the known, it will always be frightened of the unknown. And can the mind be free of it and yet use it? It can use it only when it is free intelligently. When it is not free, it will misuse that knowledge, which is what is happening in the world. The known is the past, and in that there is no possibility of creativity. The release of creative energy, it comes into being only when thought remains in the field of the known and never moves over. So, the known as the yesterday, the unknown as the tomorrow, must move together harmoniously all the time. Then creativity takes place. If we are living always within the field of the known, which we are, then we are living Mechanically, thought has a legitimate place and it can only function in the field of the known. Therefore, thought can never bring about freedom. Thought is never new. And when one re realizes, not verbally, not sentimentally, not ideologically, but actually, as the fact, then the mind is free from the known and therefore is free absolutely from fear and therefore the movement in harmony between the known and the unknown is creativity. And that, to me, is the significance, the meaning of it.